Welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, let us try to understand the GST, its history, how it came into existence and other related concepts. Goods and Services Tax GST is an indirect tax system and is a consumption based tax introduced by the Government of India by 101st Amendment to the Constitution of India in 2016. GST is more refined and much advanced version of VAT that is value added tax. VAT is a multi point tax system with a provision of set off of the tax paid at earlier stages in the supply chain from raw material state to ultimate consumer stage. VAT is levied not on the selling price of the product, but only on the net value addition at each stage of the product that is again from raw material stage to the consumer stage. GST is a comprehensive indirect tax levied on supply of goods and services or both which include manufacturing, sale and consumption of goods and services in India. GST includes all indirect taxes imposed by both central and state governments. Example, it includes excise duty, VAT, interstate CST, service tax and export import duties etc. Now, how it came into existence? Let us look into its history. Under the constitution of India, it is ours is the federal government, thus both central and state governments can empower to levy taxes. Taxes on goods were imposed in a straight jacket formula where taxes were levied on taxes that is double taxing. In 1974, LK Jha committee recommended VAT that is value added tax and indirect tax system. VAT helps to avoid cascading effect that is double taxing. In 1986, the government of India introduced modified value added tax which is popular as mod VAT for central excise duties. It allows manufacturers to get reimbursement of ta excise tax paid on raw materials and components. This is a step towards relieving the tax payers from double taxing. In 1994, the government of India introduced service tax on services. In 2004, on the recommendation of Kelkar committee, CEN, the central VAT was introduced in the place of modified value add, uh, added tax. That facilitated government to impose taxes on goods and services. In 2005, the then finance minister Mr. Asim Das Gupta formally announced GST and target date of implementation of GST was effect from 1st April 10. It was decided in 2005. In 2008, April Empowered Committee EC submitted a report under the title A Model and Roadmap for Goods and Services Tax in India with some crucial recommendations on the structure of GST. In 2008, Committee of State Finance Ministers was formed to prepare and document the principles and procedures for GST and finalize the roadmap to guide the tax authorities. In 2009, EC released its first discussion paper on 10th November to obtain feedback, opinion, suggestions from all stakeholders. Usually, they are the uh, finance ministers of various states and union territories. EC recommended dual GST model for India. Under dual model, both central and state governments can impose and collect GST. For interstate transactions, integrated GST was recommended. To introduce GST, there was a need to amend the constitution and Arun Jaitley, the then finance minister, introduced the 101st amendment bill and was passed in the parliament on 7th May 15. In 2016, the amendment was ratified by the parliament and received assent of president on 8th September 2016 facilitating amendment of constitution to introduce GST. In 2017, necessary bills were passed by the government of India to facilitate execution of proposed GST. The bills were passed by Lok Sabha on 29th March 17 and bills were passed by Rajya Sabha on 3rd April 2017. These bills were 
first one central goods and services tax bill integrated goods and services tax bill union territory goods and tax bill goods and services tax bill and state goods and services tax bill accordingly the government of india passed following acts to enforce gst in india the first act was the cgst act 2017 it was passed and received the assent of president on 12th april 2017 and entered into the statute book as the central goods and services tax act 2017 remember all other acts were also uh, received assent of president on 12th april 2017 and entered into the statute books the second one integrated goods and services tax 2000 17 was passed to empower central government to impose tax on the interstate supply of goods and services that arise in course of interstate trade and commerce the union territory goods and services tax act 2017 shall be levied on all intra ut supply of goods and services that take place within uts which do not have separate legislature those uts that have separate legislature of their own the state gst law will be applicable example delhi and pondicherry uts next one state goods and services acts of various states were also passed in 2017 the gst compensation to states act of 2017 was also passed to provide payment of compensation to states for loss of revenue due to gst for first 5 years in accordance with the provisions of section 18 of the constitution 101st amendment act 2016 that's all in this video